welcome guys and what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is the equation of the line. Now this tutorial is going to be a two part tutorial where we're looking at the equation of the line one today and we're going to look at tomorrow more difficult problems involving the equation of the line. So you'll find that in a separate tutorial called equation of the line two. In this tutorial we're going to go back over the basics, remember some tips and tricks and look at a few examples of how to use the basic formula for the equation of a line. You'll notice in your log tables on page 16 that you have two formulas for the equation of a line. Sorry, page 18. You have y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1 and you have y is equal to mx plus c as you can see here. Now the way I like to think of these two formulas is if you're given the formula for the equation of a line we tend to use y is equal to mx plus c because this allows us to find m, which is the slope, or another fancy word for slope is gradient, and the y-intercept, c. The y-intercept, remember, is the point where it crosses the y-axis, which we usually write as 0c, because our x-coordinate would be 0 on the y-axis. If we're trying to find the equation of a line, we tend to use this formula here, where we're looking at y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1, where again m is your slope or gradient and x1, y1 is a point on the line. Now, using the equation of a line, there's a few tips or tricks from the junior cert we need to remember. So let's go through these now, okay? The first thing is, if a problem asks us to check if a point is on a line, all we have to simply do is sub the coordinates of the point, the x and the y coordinates, into our equation of a line. So if we want to check if a point is on a line, we sub it in, okay? If we want to find the point of intersection, or as we would remember from the junior cert, I tend to write it as the POI, our point of intersection between two lines, we use a piece of algebra called simultaneous equations, okay? To graph a line, we need to find the x-intercept, which is the point where it goes across the x-axis, which you can see in my graph down here and the y-intercept, which is the point where it goes across the y-axis. To find the x-intercept, we let y equal to 0 and we solve for x using the equation of the line. To find the y-intercept, we're going to let x equal to 0 and we're going to solve for y again using our equation of a line. So you can see these three tips all come back to using the equation of a line, but the trick is here that sometimes when it comes to leaving cert maths, they expect us to remember these skills from the junior cert, okay? So we're gonna look at two problems now. Take a minute to go back through those tricks. If we need to write them down, write them down, and then we're gonna look at example one and example two, our two different problems for today. So example one and example two can be found here. It says, Find the equation of the line containing the points minus 2, 3 and 3, 1. So this time it asked me to find the equation of a line. And again, if we're finding the equation of a line, guys, we tend to use the first formula here. Y minus Y1 is equal to M by X minus X1. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to write, label my two points, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. I'm going to write down my formula for the equation of a line which is y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. Now, I know I have my x1, y1, so I'm pretty happy there, but what I'm missing is m. And remember, your m stands for your slope. Now, my slope, I have another formula for, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is again on page 18 there in your log tables. It's the first formula. So now I'm going to sub in my coordinates to find the slope of the line. So we're going to have 1 minus 3, over 3 minus minus 2. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Over 2 minus by a minus is a plus, so 3 plus 2 is 5. So my slope of this line is going to be minus 2 over 5. And now we're going to use our slope and our coordinates for x1, y1 to find our equation of a line here. So we really have y minus 3 is equal to minus 2 over 5 by x minus by minus 2. Okay? First thing is, I don't like dealing with fractions, so I'm going to try and get rid of that 5 on the bottom by multiplying both sides by 5. When I multiply both sides by 5, my 5 on the bottom and my 5 here cancel. So I get 5 by y is 5y. 5 by minus 3 is minus 15. Is equal to minus 2 by x is minus 2x. Minus by a minus is a plus, so this is really a plus 2. So minus 2 by plus 2 is minus 4. 
Now, I tend to like to get my letters on one side and my numbers on the other if it hasn't told me otherwise in the question. So I'm going to bring my 2x over and my 15 across. So my minus 2x when it comes over becomes a plus 2x. Plus 5y is equal to 15 because he becomes a plus now, minus 4. So my final answer here is 2x plus 5y is equal to 11. And that is now my equation of a line. Take a second, go back through that, see how we feel, and then we'll move on to example 2. Example 2 says to find the equation of a line. So again, I know I'm going to be using my y minus y1 formula. Okay? Through the point minus 2, 3, so I have my x1, y1, which is perpendicular to the line 2x minus y is equal to plus 5 is equal to 0. So I know if I want to use my formula, y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. I have my x1 and y1 value in my coordinate here. What I'm missing to solve this problem is the slope. But it's told me that this line I'm looking for is perpendicular to the line given. And I know using my formula, y is equal to mx plus c, I can find the slope of this line that is given. But what I need to do is to isolate the y. So I'd see I have 2x minus y plus 5 is equal to 0. And I need y to be by itself to find out what my slope is. So I'm going to bring y over here and he's going to become a plus. So I have 2x plus 5 is equal to y, which is the same as writing y is equal to 2x plus 5. So I now know that my slope, therefore, has to be the number in front of my x value, which has to be 2. So m is equal to 2. And if my slope is equal to 2, to find my perpendicular slope, I flip it and change the sign. So 2 is really 2 over 1, so flipped is 1 over 2, and if it was a plus, it's now a minus. So now I have my perpendicular slope, which I'm going to use with my point x1, y1 to find my new equation of a line. So now I have y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. And I'm going to sub in everything I know now to finish off this question. So if you imagine this was step 1, we're now on to step 2. So I'm going to have y minus 3 is equal to minus a half by x minus minus 2. Again, to get rid of my fraction on the bottom here, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2. Multiply by 2. They cancel on the right hand side to leave just a minus 1 is what I'm multiplying by. So I have 2 by y is 2y. Two, 2 by 3 is minus 6. Minus 1 by x is minus x. Minus 1 by plus 2, because again a minus by a minus a plus gives me minus 2. Again I'm going to bring my letters to one side and my numbers to the other. So I have x plus y is equal to minus 2 plus 6, which is 4. And now I have my equation of a line, which is perpendicular to the equation of the line given through this point, minus 2, 3. Now guys, again, take a second there, go back over this method in particular of isolating the y to find the slope. If I wanted, though I didn't need it for this question, I would have been able to find my y-intercept using this method as well. My y-intercept would simply be 0, 5, because that's the number by itself here. Okay, so again, in particular, take a minute to go back over isolating the y and using the formula y is equal to mx plus c to find the slope and the y-intercept, and then how we use that to find the perpendicular equation of the line through the point minus 2, 3. Thanks, guys. See you for the next one.